So with the victory in straight games for Victor Axis, and it's clear that we're not going to have five new Super 300 World Tour winners. That was a possibility ahead of um, today's finals. It's also a possibility that um, Europe would win five titles. That's not going to happen either. Now we're going to turn our attention to uh, the All-European Men's Doubles final, where the unseated combination of uh, Mark Lamsfuss and Marvin Seidel from Germany, they're taking on the former winners here in uh, Basel, Kim Astrup and uh, Anas Rasmussen. The players are ready to uh, march in as we take a look at the uh, draw for the Men's Doubles. Quarterfinals, all four quarterfinals went the full distance, just as um, was the case in mixed doubles. And uh, Lamsfuss and Seidel also had to uh, use all three games to um, dispose of the top seeds. Aaron Chan and uh, Sobo Yik from Malaysia, whilst Astrid and Rasmussen uh, took care of the second seeded uh, Indian combination of Ranky Reddy and Shetty. Here is the uh, two tall German players. Lamsfuss 186 at 6 foot 1, and uh, Seidel 190, 6 foot 3. Here's the Danes. Left hander Kim Astrup, who incidentally turned 29 years old yesterday, followed by uh, his partner Anders Rasmussen. was a keen hunter in uh, his spare time and he really had um, the sights in uh, the right position yesterday. And played a magnificent match against um, two Indians. That for you? Red. That side. So they had to head 6-1 um, in favor of the Danes, but um, the one victory for the Lamps was in Seidel came just two weeks ago in uh, the European Mixed Team Championship in Finland, where they won convincingly 2019-21-5. So the Danes won the coin toss and uh, elected to start on uh, the far side of the court where to play with the drift, play the fast side in um, the first game here is the profile of uh, Mark Lamsfuss, also an accomplished uh, mixed doubles player. He's from uh, Viberfurth, just an hour's drive southeast of uh, Düsseldorf and uh, Mülheim, where one of the two German Olympic uh, badminton centers are situated. Currently uh, ranked 19th, ranked 22nd on the road to Tokyo list and certain of qualifying in men's doubles. Here's his partner, 25 years of age, Marvin Seidel, and he's from Dudweiler, which is really close to Saarbrücken, where the other Olympic uh, badminton center is in Germany. Now, they played really well on their road to uh, the final here. As an unseeded pair, they've disposed of both the top-seeded Malaysian pair and also the third-seeded uh, Olympic silver medalist from 2016 in Rio, Gobi Shem and uh, Tanwi Kyung. Very impressive um, performance by uh, Lamsfus and Seidel, in my opinion. During their sixth career final, Lamsfus and Seidel won three of them so far. Here is uh, Kim Astrup, just turned 29 from uh, the back near Herning. And uh, his partner, Anas Skar Brasmussen, they've slipped quite a bit in the world ranking. Currently uh, 15th, but uh, 11th on the uh, race to Tokyo list, and also quite certain Ready for to play. qualifying there. This is their 20th um, career final, and um, they've won. 10 titles, the biggest of them back in 2018, where they won the Victor China Super 1000 tournament. This is their 
road to the semi-final. Stretched to three games against the two Malaysian pairs. But convincing yesterday against um, Shetty and uh, Ranky Reddy. Umpire, it is Mets Balu and uh, Marcel Schmidt, our service judge. Both pairs have been um, in a little bit of a dip of form. But um, Lamsfuss and Seidel reached the quarter final of the um, Toyota Thailand Open. Lost to Wang Chilin and Li Yang, and um, so did. Uh, Rasmussen and um, Astrup only in the first round. Lost the first round in the next tournament as well. And um, Ladies and they've been frustrated with their my game. Right, so Mark encouraging and for the Danes Seidel, to be back Germany. on Sunday. And on my left, Kim Astrup and underscore of Rasmussen, Denmark. Mark Lamsfus to serve to Kim Astrup. Love all. Play. Oh. Oh. One love. Silver. Missed it. One. All. For Astro. Yeah, it's good. Change. Change. Astro and uh, Rasmussen. This match is a lot similar to yesterday with uh, the two tall Indian players, Ranky Reddy and um, Shetty. Opponents very, very strong in uh, the attacking game. So. The Danes trying to neutralize that. And, uh, control the rallies is uh, the key, and of course, given what I've just told you, for the Germans, it's uh, about to Whoa! do the same, get control from the service Two, situation. One. Get on the attack, use the uh, height advantage, get some steep smashes away. And there's Danish coaches on uh, both sides of the court. Ibe Lewis, and new German uh, doubles coach. That is silver. And, uh, Two, all. In uh, November. But um, he, of course, has a lot of knowledge of uh, the Danish combination. Decision. Oh! It's over. Three, two. It's oh. very rarely successful, these uh, change of minds. Good service from Kimastro. Start for Astro and Rasmussen. They've looked uh, really confident with their game here in the beginning of the match. And one of the things that I um, should mention about the match in Finland two weeks ago is that uh, Five, two. Astro was okay. having some problem with his um, left knee. He's got a little strapping on it. Here, as you can see, I don't want to take any. Thing away from the Germans, but um, 
No doubt about it. That um, it was his first match in the uh, tournament, and uh, he's not really accustomed to the situation. Asking uh, for advice. Service over. Three, six. the idea by Marvin Seidel, Eight, but um, three. the execution lacked a little bit, but like he wasn't really in a good balance there. Rasmussen and Nine, four. Yeah. And they're not really certain of uh, how to proceed. Lamsfuss and uh, Seidel. Lifts from the Danes. You can see the way oh. there was the timing. <laughs> I was Service just about silver. to say that the, the timing was a problem for Mark Lamsfors, and then he hits nine. an absolute beauty <laughs> of a smash. If you can get steepness, then it's much, much more valuable than uh, raw power. And that was steep. Just flicking the racket. Sometimes enough. Thirty silver. Ten. Five. Great awareness by uh, Mark Lamsfuss. Six, ten. Seven, ten. This is a situation where Rasmussen wanted to get the uh, service return to 
dump below the tape, but it didn't. At least it didn't go far enough, and then he really gets Bye. exposed himself by the flat play by um, Mark Lambsworth. Oh. Oh, that's too steep. Eight, ten. on his own smash and it's the Danes with a three-point advantage here at the mid-game interval. to uh, listening on was to mistake was saying we have to be ready that they have lots of variation in their smashes straight across and very unpredictable patience there the oh. opportunity got smaller and smaller but still kept on insisting oh. oh. 13 8 good point by Kim Astrup there Fantastic retrieval by uh, Anas Rasmussen. 14, 8. Defensive block from Nine, Martin Seidel, 14. but the um, Danes did well until that. Then uh, so they're maintaining the control of the rally, and uh, I wouldn't rely too much on that kind of defensive returns if I were the Germans. Play. Twenty-eight shots, longest rally so far. Um, the key for Lumps was inside or they've got to uh, win the service situation and then maintain patience in uh, their attack. Not only vary the placement but also the uh, pace. Sometimes put in a drop shot. Oh. 
Silver, 15, 11. same kind of patience 16, in the um, German uh, attack as we saw the Danes. The, it was very early in the rally. The first one was Marvin Seidel, who uh, applied power in a situation where he was only marginally above uh, tape level, and that gives the Danes a lot of opportunities to play back at the Germans. Whoa! So it's a good turn. Service over. 12, 16. Opportunity he missed there, Kim Astrup. Now they have to watch out for a flat flicker. He's standing right where it would hurt. There it was. Service fault ball. Too high. Service over. 17 13. Lift his uh, left arm just a little bit, and I think that's what um, triggers the call from. Uh, the service judge. Plus the fact that um, the first time he launched that serve, Marvin Seidel, Kim Astrup was more or less begging the <laughs> service judge to call it. Silver, 14, 19. It's a good service return, but it was a frustrating looking service return, in my opinion. It looked like he didn't really believe um, what was in the service return, but in uh, the fact that the first game is still open, I'm inside all. 15, 19. Patience. 20, oh, game Danes. point, 15. That was from another rally, I think. A 
was earlier in the rally. And now five um, game points for Astrup and uh, Rasmussen. Silver, 16, 20. Good shot, Game. excellent. Steep smash, not that powerful, yeah. but very, very steep. First and game the first game and is um, Danish. 21, After 19 minutes of play, 21 16. And the final look at that shot from uh, Kim Astrup. The racket action, there is not a whole lot of arm movement, but the racket action is what does the trick. Excellent shot. I think it's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. Now we're going to be fast with this one. I think it's a good one. We have to put him down, but we can't put him down and give him a good one. He can't just pass forward to him, he can't win. Instead of where we should just put him down. Yeah, but if he comes forward, Der skal vi stå langt frem, så skal vi trække den af ude i siden. Selv på den her side, hvis ja. det er kæmpe point, der gør forskel. Pres til løsne her. Ja. Vi har lige set, hvor kort de løsner. Og så slår vi langt frem. Ja. Og så det, det skal vi gøre, det gør stress. Det skal ikke ned, det skal skære os, og så egentlig. Og så er der kun langt kryds, det er den her smarte sted. Når vi hænger lidt, der er det faktisk fint nok, at vi bare hiver til den. Ja. Der er vildt, vildt. Men jeg skal bare ikke ind i midten. Nej, nej, der hiver du bare lidt, lidt ja. til den lige ud. Fordi så kommer der bare frem og tilbage, så kan ja. du kontinuere dig ind under. Eller du træder skridt frem efter ja. og redde. Fordi hvis det bliver for blødt, så er det, det bliver flyttet af ja. for meget rundt. Ja. Så bliver det lige skidt for hinanden. Vi står rigtig godt langt fra den her. Kom så, godt drenge. Kom så, prøv her. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Second game. Love all. Play. Second game underway, and uh, a lot of discussion in the Danish camp, but mostly uh, satisfaction with uh, the first game. Discussing about uh, how to cope with the services of Milan Seidel, that's gone wide. A great start to the second game for Scorburn, uh, for Rasmussen and uh, Astrup. Playing at the margins, uh, Marvin Seidel, and um, so far I feel that he's um, looked a little bit out of confidence, and uh, um, there's basically no reason for that. Uh, the five point deficit in the first game was established at 8 3. Now they're playing with the drift, and um, their attack will bite a little bit more, and uh, they still have a good chance. Talked about standing 
far forward in the formation. I think that's really, really important. So you can lift flat and um, don't give away too much, too much uh, angles to uh, the tall Germans. Oh! See again. Silver. Seidel going Four, for a uh, three, more or less 100% uh, gamble. I don't think I'm too much a fan of that in this situation here. Excellent uh, attack from uh, the Germans. Four, and much more patient play by Mark Lamsfuss. That's um, five, four. The way Lumsfus and Seidel wants to play. Super aggressive style. That's a great Seven. save by uh, Anas Rasmussen Six. and again Five. indecision by uh, Mark Lamsfuss. We saw it once in the first game. Directly into the racket of uh, Anas Rasmussen. Yes. Thank you. So we return Six, hit the top of the tape from Mike Lamsfuss. Almost impossible to control for Kim Astro. Lots of discussion on the German side, but uh, nowhere near the amount of discussion on the Danish side. Must be one of the pairs in the world that communicate the most in between rallies and sometimes during rallies. Right. Mr. Rasmussen. Well left. Silver. Seven. Six. <laughs> 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 that's 
of shine. That's it, Anna. It's really, really good. So, live commentary from the court. No, he's saying, Esther, I'm right behind you. I mean, of course you are. Good variation from uh, Marvin Seidel there. I show I'm here and you show you there. <laughs> Kim Astrup is uh, satisfied with the way things are developing on uh, the court at the moment. And who can blame him? Unless you're a German fan and you really want to see Seidel and Lamsfuss uh, get their game going. Oh, you want to save. Seidel walks off court outside the picture. He looks uh, a little bit out of belief. The Danes are uh, one game up and four points ahead. German coach, Dane Jeppelowitz, and stressing that it's so important that uh, they find the space in front of um, Anas Rasmussen. Instead of hitting it, it all seven. the way down to him, slice it in front of him. And, uh, there's no doubt that um, he's not as creative um, in his defense as Kim Astro. That's a good save by Lamsfus. Oi. Service over. Are you okay, Gavin? Eight, eleven. Yes, she's coming. So, discussion between uh, Kim Astrup and uh, the German coach, Jeppe Lovisen. He formerly worked for the that? Danish team, and he was applauding uh, Kim Astrup was getting uh, hit in the head. Service. Return. Service over. 
Silver nine thirteen. Danish coach Thomas Dangle. Mirroring the posture of uh, some of the technical officials sitting behind him. Quite calm at the moment. A lucky, lucky shot. Ten, but, um, I feel that this hard work is uh, getting to uh, Marvin Seidel, and I think also the Danes uh, shouting and showing uh, the winning spirit is also a little bit getting to him. I've been watching the body language, and uh, I feel that, that he's affected by it. But this is how hard they need to be able to work, Lamsfus and. Uh, Seidel if they want to win, and if they back down, the Danes are going to eat them. Oh. 11-13. Extreme spin on that serve from uh, Marmin Seidel. Magnificent. Yeah. The old times with the uh, CDEX serve where you hit it on the feathers to make it spin. Now the chance is gone for the Germans. Yeah. That's what they need to realize. And there was the attempt to slice it in front of uh, Rasmussen uh, that uh, their coach discussed. Solid defense there by the Danes, and as of today, the Germans are not killing enough in the attack to just pay the fast-paced attack. They've got to variate it, got to play a drop shot, got to try and slice it in front of Anas Rasmussen. They have not been very disciplined in that. I said in an interview yesterday that they were playing very disciplined, and that doesn't go for today. It's the Danes that are making it difficult for them. They've set up a really, really good defense. That's well played again.
fantastic rally. Excellent play by Astroban uh, Rasmussen. <laughs> and uh, Kim Astro is uh, satisfied himself. Yes, I like that one. Thank you. So, oh! Big advantage to uh, Astrobin Rasmussen to repeat their win from uh, 2016. Light. Well, they beat uh, Xiong Li and uh, Tsai Xizhen from Chinese Taipei in uh, the final here in uh, Basel. That's gone long. 17, 11. Totally uh, turned the tables 18, on uh, Lumsfuss and Seidel and uh, sort of uh, established some credibility that um, Astrup indeed wasn't fully ready back in uh, Finland two weeks ago. Before that match, the Danes had a 6 nothing head to head lead against the Germans. And they played like that today. It's gone wrong. 19, 11. <laughs> yeah, it's going wide. Wait, that's going wrong. So, nine championship 20. points. Match point for the 11. two Danes. It's been a year since they uh, last won a tournament. That was the Spain Super 300. Hey. Now they've done it again. <laughs> Always uh, interesting to see the celebration of. Uh, by These two, and then yeah, I don't know what to call it, happy badminton players. They've really struggled with the uh, lockdown period and uh, injuries and... Uh, I fear Kim Astor is going to be injured again when he does those chest bumps to uh, Anas Rasmussen. They're really in a different league. Uh, Different weight classes, but it's two happy Danes after a really good <laughs> tournament. <laughs> Can I have to say, you're talking even more than you normally do, and, and that says something. Here is the confirmation of the score in 41 minutes. Convincing victory, 21-16, 21-11. They never really got into this match, Seidel and uh, Lamsfuss, but they can take a lot away from the tournament, in my opinion, especially the two victories against uh, strong Malaysian uh, combinations. Disappointed, went so much better two weeks ago for the Germans, but um, today the Danes, they were magnificent. Here is the uh, winning rally. <laughs> very, very happy, Anas Rasmussen. Four players get ready for the uh, 
prize giving ceremony. We can look forward to the last of the five finals coming up after that here in uh, St. Jakobshalle. That is um, the dream final in women's singles in this tournament between Carolina Marin and world champion PB Sindhu. Ladies and gentlemen, prize giving ceremony of the men's doubles. The prizes are given by Simon Ramsauer, CEO of Swiss Badminton, and Christian Wackenagel, president of the organizing committee of the Yonex Swiss Open. The runner-up from Germany, Mark Lamsfuss and Marvin Seidel. And the winner of the Yonex Swiss Open 2021 in men's doubles from Denmark, Kim Astrup and Anders Koruk Rasmussen. Thank you and congratulations to the winner and the runner-up of the men's doubles. Finally in men's doubles.